Hey everyone, welcome to the Rifle Silhouette channel. I'm Eric Meetencourt, and I'm out here at the range getting in some Rifle Silhouette practice. And I just wanted to quickly touch on a concept that isn't necessarily new in Rifle Silhouette or shooting in general, and that's being active on the trigger. This is something that was taught to me by Chris Winstead and something that he constantly reminds me of and something that I feel has really made me a better shooter. So I just wanted to make a quick video showing you what being active on the trigger means to me, and I hope that this is something that might be able to help you out in your shooting endeavors. So let's take a look. To begin, I always make sure that I'm lined up with the target and have a good natural point of aim. I will then pick a spot on the target or have a spot given to me by my spotter that is selected based off of prevailing conditions such as wind and mirage. Having a spot to aim for on the animal instead of just aiming for the animal will increase your level of accuracy and the objective remains the same across all of the targets. For me, shooting for a spot tends to eliminate the idea of hard animals or easy animals. Here you can see I've selected an aiming point on the right edge of the dark spot. When I'm being active on the trigger and my subconscious mind is functioning as it should, then the rifle should fire the first time through that spot. The moment the video paused was where the shot was taken. As you could see, I was very close to my spot that I selected and my subconscious mind took over and there was no hesitation. That is what being active on the trigger looks like through my scope. Let's look at the next shot and see what happens. Again, I'll pick another aiming point and do my best to be active on the trigger. Again, another successful shot. Let's take a look at the next shot and see what it looks like when I'm not being active on the trigger and my subconscious mind is not in control. Again, I will select my aiming point just like before, but in this shot, things will look a little different. This is where I should have fired. However, there was a hesitation and as the clip continues, you will see a few more times where I pass through the spot but continue to hesitate. Here it is again, but in real time and without the pauses. I aborted the shot and started over because my mind was not focused and I was not being active on the trigger. If this happens to me, then I take the time to start over and reset the shot. This allows me to get in the correct mindset and take the best shot possible. This was a classic case of paralysis by analysis and wanting to make a good shot even better. And as you can see in this shot, it was the right thing to do. Let's take a look at what being active on the trigger looks like during a match. As you will see in this clip, I take approximately 5 to 8 seconds on each shot. Being active on the trigger and shooting on the first time through the aiming spot has helped me become a more consistent shooter, and more importantly, a more subconscious shooter, which helps decrease mental fatigue, and since I am holding the rifle up for less time, it decreases the amount of physical fatigue as well. Fire! I have a fire on that white chip. Yep. Splatter. Shoot the splatter. Shoot the splatter. On the splatter. Center the splatter. Yep, the center of the splatter was the shot. Left edge of the splatter, left edge of the splatter. Left edge of the splatter. Good shot only. Hit the right edge of the splatter. Got a little white chip coming out of the breast. Shoot the right edge of the chip. Yep. Looks like a little higher. Mm -hmm. You got a faint white chip there, just to the right of the black stuff. Shoot that white chip. Hit the more breast side.